Let's delve into the exciting story of J. Jonah Jameson, the newest addition to the Spider-Verse from Earth-1755, as we see Jonah Jameson, with his trademark gruff demeanor, interrupts a Star Rocks business meeting while reminiscing about the events that brought him to this moment. Just a week ago, he accompanied by his unpaid intern Peter Parker, visited Dr. Kirk Connors for a ribbon, cutting ceremony. Jameson, as the benefactor behind Connors research, confronts him, calling him Dr. Dolittle with my money, questioning the purpose of his research if it couldn't save Connors' son. And little did he know that during this encounter, a spider would bite his hand forever changing his destiny. The following day, Jameson finds himself in bed, feeling his blood on fire, unable to recall how he got home. Sweating and in a daze, he slips into a vivid dream where his deceased son, John, appears before him. John speaks of the challenges of pursuing one's passion and pleads with his father not to lose his temper. Awakening disoriented and shocked, Jameson discovers himself stuck to the ceiling and encounters Peter Parker, who had come to check on him, assuming he might be dead due to his unusual absence. Swearing to keep his secret, they head to work, where Jameson meets Betty Brant, one of his top journalists. Betty reveals some disturbing news about Star Rocks, suggesting they might be responsible for John's tragic accident. Determined to uncover the truth, Jameson, with Peter's guidance, delves into the investigation. However, things take a dangerous turn when the shocker, a formidable adversary, appears to take down Jameson. During their intense confrontation, the shocker inadvertently reveals his involvement in John's death. Filled with rage, Jameson strikes the shocker, sending him flying out of the building. In the heat of the moment, Jameson contemplates letting the villain meet his end, but he realizes that he must uphold a sense of responsibility and accountability. As he webs up the shocker, the villain tries to bargain with money, but Jameson seeks the truth above all else. Pulling out a tape recorder, he promises the shocker an exclusive confession. With the knowledge that his weapon will dissolve in an hour, Jameson urges the shocker to speak quickly. Unaware of the shocking revelation, Jameson hands over the tape to Peter, who works as both a photographer and spider, man's alter ego. Peter envisions the headline and assures Jameson that his photo might even make the front page, dubbing him Spider-Man. However, Jameson dismisses the name as amateurish and tells Peter to stick to photography while he handles the writing. With that, Jameson swings off into the city to face new challenges and continue his crusade for justice as the headline, a fitting moniker for a man whose words hold great power in the Spider-Verse.